Hi guys, Willy here. It is Crate Crochet subscription time again. My new subscription box arrived in the mail yesterday and I finished the project from the February box the day before. So it was pretty tight, but I managed it. And I have to confess, I only managed it because I saw on Instagram that Crate Crochet posted that they had mailed out their subscription boxes and that gave me a kick up the butt and I got crocheting. And this is the finished mandala. The mandala came with a hoop, but the project didn't come with a gauge. So I didn't know whether I was on track. And to be honest, I didn't even wonder if I was on track. I was just enjoying the mandala so much. It was a really, really nice project. And I pretty much finished it before I realized that I was way off track with fitting the hoop. My mandala was way, way, way too big. That was attempt number one. That was attempt number two. And this was attempt number three. Attempt number three was too small. And attempt number four, I got right. So pleased with the finished product. And I fiddled around with the colors a little bit too. So I guess doing all those different versions, it wasn't a waste. I got something that I really like in the end, but I do wish they'd given a size gauge. It would have been really helpful. So the new box is here. But before I open it, I wanna show you two things that I have been working on. One is a finished project that I am just really proud of. And one is a work in progress that I feel like I wanted to update one of my subscribers on because months ago, this lovely lady asked if I would make a pattern for a detergent cover, like a soap liquid cover, washing up detergent. And I've been working away on it and it took me much longer than I thought it would because when I had a Google and had a look at what everybody else has done for a dish liquid cover, they're all cute little aprons and dresses and they're all frilly and cute. And I thought, hey, I don't wanna do that. I wanna do like an ugly jumper. And it was before Christmas when I started this. So it has taken me quite a while. And this one is still like clipped at the back with a bulldog clip. It's gonna have buttons. So this is what I'm working on, Charlene and I hope that you're gonna like it. It'll probably still take me a couple more weeks to actually film it and put it up, but it's gonna be a little ugly jumper <laughs> so your detergent can keep warm. And the second one is this the wrap that I made using my sheepier's yarn. It's so luxurious. It's just the most gorgeous thing to wear. It's so warm and soft and it's so big too because I used the four full balls of the sheepier's yarn to make it. A friend of mine has asked me to make her one too. So I get to make another one of these, which I'm really looking forward to as I make hers. I think I'll film it so you guys can make one too. Even though it looks really beautiful. It's a really simple pattern. It's really beginner friendly. It's a one row repeat. Once you do the rows that get you started, so your long chain and you work into that chain, after that point you're just repeating the same stitches over and over again. So I've been working on the pattern for ages and I guess I was just waiting to have the perfect yarn to finish it off with and this yarn was definitely that. It's so lush. Okay, I will stop talking to you about my beautiful shawl and open the box. I come for art, and if you have a look, it appears to have a bit of dowel poking out, so that's a little bit interesting. Clearly we're making some kind of hanging project again. To stick the dowel out. Well, it was wrapped, it just came free of its wrapping. I guess lucky it didn't actually get lost in the post. <laughs> Great crochet. It's really, um, it's really over full and stuffed. That's always kind of nice, isn't it? They do have lovely presentation. Oh, different, different, different. Every box I've had, and admittedly that's only two, has had eight ply cotton yarn. So, hey, look at this. We have 14 ply and it is a mixture of wool, acrylic and alpaca. I've never worked with alpaca. There are three colours, a really beautiful, soft, almost a grey blue. It feels gorgeous, really, really soft and a kind of creamy white. So three colours and they're all nice colours. Well, not sure about mustard yellow, but with these, it does look good. You can kind of, I don't know, forgive the mustard. <laughs> and mustard can look nice. It's that kind of retro feel, isn't it? Ooh, what's in here? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's a little rainbow. And my favourite, the Mentos. I had to share them with my son last month. And I've got another cup of tea, and this month's tea is Earl Grey. 
I don't like Earl Grey either. I'm a really boring tea drinker. I drink a lot of tea, but it is all just black tea. Okay, I got a little note from Freight Crochet. In the last box, there was this note saying um, that the subscription was gonna change, um, but it didn't give me any more information. So hopefully this is gonna say what's going on here. They currently sell their subscriptions through a big website that sells lots of different subscriptions. Obviously they're moving to their own website, I think. Um, and they're gonna change what kind of subscription box it is. But there's really not a lot of information in there. I suspect they're going to move their prices up because there was something in the last message that said that as a legacy member, I'll get to stay at my current pricing for some period of time, but I don't know. I don't know. That's um, still a little bit mysterious. I would still like to know a little bit more about what's happening now. Russell, Russell. Ooh, this month's project is called the Creativity Rainbow. It looks like a corner to corner. A wall hanging thing. Hey, I've still got some wall space left. I've only got one little crochet thing up on my wall. I guess I could hang some more, though it is very mustard. Okay. Yeah. I like in rainbow. I like rainbows. Rainbows are good. Oh, I got a voucher. Who doesn't love a voucher? Though I had a look at their website. There wasn't actually anything I wanted there. So, hey, maybe there'll be something later on. And that is the box. That's the whole box. It's not bad. I like the yarn. I've got a little wool hanging to make. I'll get busy on that and I'll see you guys next month. I can't resist a complimentary lolly. If you wanna watch some more unboxing type videos, I've got a playlist here you can have a binge on, or if you'd rather some actual crochet, maybe you'd like to have a look at this and try it for your next project.